Hello everyone, this is Warren from the Rhapsody Piano Studio. I want to welcome you to today's lesson and we're going to be learning Killing Me Softly. Uh, it says easy piano, but it's more like early intermediate is what I call it. So I might have mistakenly labeled this. Uh, anyway, you can find links to the sheet music, which will be in the cards. Uh, they're actually free, so you can download for free and test it out yourself. Hey, Brogan, what's going on, man? Um, yeah, and also, after you're done with this lesson, you want to think of these lessons as the how-to guide, practice, step-by-step -step instructions. And the only way to really test out your knowledge is to head on over to the tutorial as well. So if you're able to use the tutorials, if it makes sense for you, then congratulations. You're understanding the things that I'm trying to show you to be able to learn piano on your own, okay? All right. Um, so, like I said, Killing Me Softly, it's more like early intermediate uh, I'm probably going to change the title of this after. Uh, so earlier intermediate, uh, free sheet music. It's two page arra arrangement, so it's quite short. It's nice and sweet and short today. Okay, before we start, if you haven't done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also uh, hit the notification bell if you want to catch whenever I go live. And also in these lessons, in the, uh, the uh, what, what do you call it, the comment section, I always post the upcoming lessons. So uh, make sure you hit up the link in the description after the lesson is over to catch the upcoming schedule as well. All right, this is Kill Me Softly. Let me show you how to practice this. So we actually just start with that four measure introduction, okay? So we're gonna take one part. We're gonna call this the first chunk we're gonna call it small chunking, the smallest part at a time. Works out to about four measures, even though it's really two measures repeated. Uh, so we're gonna go back with this small section that we picked and then just practice hands separate before going back to hands together. Okay, let me show you one more time. And you don't actually have to do this in time. So the, that's an egg timer. All right, uh, <laughs> like, is there a fire on in the house? All right, anyway. You just practice kind of moving to each position, okay? Now try that with me. All right, left hand. It's just really getting this rhythm comfortable. comfortable. So just do that enough times. You can do it with me if you want. You know it's comfortable when you don't have to think about it anymore. Okay. Now we just go back to both hands. Try that together at the same time. All right, ready, go. All right, and then we're gonna move on to the actual song now. And then once again, taking a small chunk, first four measures of this part. So it's five to nine, okay? So we'll look at the left hand. Be a little bit careful with the counting on the left hand because these are the next notes are coming on the offbeat. Make sure you get that timing right. It's not. It's not the actual beat. Okay. All right. Let's try it with the left hand. Ready. Go. to get uh, the coordination to get both um, these uh, notes together and both hands on the offbeat takes a lot of coordination and focus so you might be working on just the timing for a while okay all right let's try that together five to nine ready go okay now 
now we're gonna do the next section. Nine to looks about uh, measures nine to 13. So it's coming out to four uh, measures at a time. And then what I always do when you're practicing is to link it to the next part. And to do that, you just simply go one note to the next uh, chunk, okay? You just connect it to the next part that way. Okay, something cool there. A little arpeggio, all right, left hand. This is the same. You can skip all this and just go to 12 because if it's exactly the same, what's the point in practicing it more, okay? Unless you're having difficulty with it. Alright, so I'm just going straight to measure 12. We're gonna try that together. Okay, ready, go. Alright, now on to the left hand. Slight difference there. Okay, and so I came. This is measure 9. Ready, go. Off beat on it. Let me try one more time. Ready, go. Yeah, so if you're not careful, they can throw you off. So definitely recommend practicing with a metronome. Now, we have about, if you're keeping count so far, three chunks. At this point, you could choose to go back to the beginning and put it all together, which I'm going to do. Then, when you get a little bit more experience with this, you might try to do longer and longer sections and uh, these are also just open to interpretation, but wait until you get some experience on like how to divide up these songs correctly, knowing the form and the structure of it before you do that, okay? So we're going to go back to the beginning, go all the way to 13. So now measures 1, 13. Sorry to interrupt, but I'm, I'm skipping the repeat in the introduction, okay? So this is measure five. Alright, well a little extra challenge, you could do this whole entire section hands separate. Uh, it's good because you're gonna have to really count carefully. Here's the right hand. difficult uh, I would actually say it's easier to practice both hands together um, I mean left hand is not too much of a problem but the right hand definitely the melody trying to count that is very difficult here we go ready go one two three four Right, we're gonna 
Let's try that together. Ready, go. now so that's the basic idea of how to practice and we just really repeat this process these steps uh, whatever you're practicing really it, it applies at all levels and trust me I've tested I teach students at all levels it, it, it's basically the same process all right of course when you get a little bit more advanced and nuances here and there but for now that's the basic process all right so chunking hands separate hands together connecting to the next part putting it all together okay all right we're gonna keep it going all right, measure 13. All right, so actually I picked a much longer section that time. I kind of went a little bit too much, so. Uh, just a little sample to see like you know how you can handle these larger sections sometimes you might try I, I would say if this is your first time trying to practice you're probably not going to be too successful because it takes some concentration to build it up into longer sections okay but anyway we're going to just try it right now so i should show you you know some goals that you should aim for right so this is measure uh 13 let me play this whole section one more time So we're going from measure 13 to 21. Left hand, here we go, ready, go. this young boy this is measure 13 right hand ready go section killing me softly this is 21 and that's with the repeat uh, if you don't take the repeat if you go straight to the second ending Depending on which ending you're taking, all right. So, uh, I would practice actually each one of these endings separately, okay, and then you know practicing the whole thing with the repeat. So first ending here, then the second ending. So make sure you practice those separately. So I'm just gonna go to uh, measure 28, that entire measure, okay. All right, killing me softly. The right hand. Okay, with 
with this song, stopping right there. Remember those two endings to practice them separately, okay? All right, right hand, ready, go. So now what I'm going to do is, I'll throw a little bonus here. So I'm going to practice it, uh, I'm going to play it with that first ending so you can hear how the repeat goes. And then we'll do it with the second ending so you can kind of hear how it is like seamlessly. All right, here's the first ending. You can try it with me together if you would like. All right, 21, ready, go. <laughs> second ending let's try it together and we'll wrap up this lesson and I'll, I'll give you a few little uh, quick tips at the end and some um, uh, a recap all right so 21 second ending this time ready go <laughs> So that was today's lesson. Uh, by the way, forgot to ask you guys if you, if you enjoyed this lesson. Uh, by the way, if you're listening to me right now, kudos to you for making it all the way to the end. If you like this lesson, give it a like. All right, and also if um, you know someone that this would help out, I'm sure they would appreciate it if you shared this video with them as well. Okay, so I'll give you guys a quick little recap here. Uh, this is Killing Me Softly. This is for early intermediate piano. The she music is free. You can find the links in the cards as well as the description. Uh, after you're done with this lesson, every lesson actually that you watch, these are like step-by-step -step instructions on how to practice carefully. When you click over to, 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 to the tutorial, man, that's hard to say. Uh, that's more like a test. You're gonna test out your own knowledge. If you're able to use the tutorial, then congratulations, you're understanding things that I'm showing you here. And of course, there are more levels to this, so don't get too excited. Uh, and yeah, it, it does work because I get to a point with my own piano students where sometimes if we don't have a lot of time at the lesson to address everything that they need to know, like I could just simply say, go home and practice with the videos and they're able to figure it out, no problem. It's pretty awesome when you get to that point. I'm sure you can get there as well, all right? How to practice this, how to practice any song, any piece, any level, any repertoire, any genre is basically you just divide it up into small sections. We call it small chunking. We did about four measures at a time. Then with the small chunks, you're gonna simplify it by doing hands separate, then going back to hands together. You repeat it with the next chunk. Then you just keep combining them together until you have the whole entire song, okay? So that is practice in a nutshell. And if you watch all of my other lessons, it really doesn't change. It's the same thing, okay? All right, so you know, if you want something more exciting, sorry, but this is really the way to do it. Very simple, but kind of hard to put into practice, if you know what I mean, okay? All right, well, thank you guys so much. Uh, if you haven't subscribed by now, I don't know what you're waiting for, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell if you want to catch me whenever I go live. Go to my website, I have much more free, available, organized content there. You're gonna definitely find what you're looking for, and I'll see you guys uh, next time. Happy practicing.